Hey Scrappy People, Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a Cricut tutorial. You heard that right. I have gotten so many requests over the years to do Cricut tutorials too and uh, I don't know why I had such a brain fart but I did and I was like I don't even have a Cricut. How am I supposed to do that? Uh, duh, the software is free. So here is a Cricut tutorial on printing and cutting my sticker sheets. It is so easy, you guys aren't even gonna believe it. So this is what Cricut looks like when you open it up. You're going to want to create a new project up in the top right corner. And then once you do that, you can go over to upload and upload image. And then you wanna choose one of the fussy cut, no lines sticker sheets from my products. This will automatically generate the correct sticker sheet or sticker sheet cut lines, go to complex, continue, and then apply and continue. I think I fussed around in here just to see what this looked like, but uh, you don't want to do this. So when it opens up, you just go ahead and hit apply and continue down in the bottom right hand corner. And then it will upload to your design space. Make sure you choose print then cut image upload. You can rename it at the top if you want. It just loads with my file name. Now you have uploaded down here in the bottom and you can hit add to canvas down in the bottom right hand corner. Now this is going to import very large and you can see the warning triangle up here in the top right. It will tell you exactly what you have to do to make it work. So it says reduce the image size to 6.75 by 9.25, which is slightly smaller than the silhouette um, available space for cutting. So they will print slightly smaller than um, if you had a silhouette. It's not a big deal though, it's just slight. So I changed it to 9.25 and it was too, too big still, so then I changed the width to 6.75 and now it is perfect and ready to go. So you hit make it in the top, it will add its registration marks and you can go ahead and print and then cut it. So let's do that one more time, this time with um, the uh, labels and word bits pages. So I'm gonna open up a different product here. But again, I'm going to go to the fussy cut no lines. I'm going to hit upload image and then drag and drop. I'm going to hit complex again, continue, apply and continue. Print then cut image, upload. Now it is uploaded into my design space. I can click on it hit add to canvas. Then now that I know, I can just go ahead and change the size to 6.75 width. And it is the perfect size for printing and cutting. I can hit make it and we are good to go. After you hit make it, it loads the cutting marks. So you can also do this with individual PNG files and not just sheets. So I'm going to actually open up the County Code of Christmas digital embellishments and I'm going to upload a few of these because sometimes you want to upload the digital embellishments too. The stickers are available in individual files as well so you can do this with that. But these are the digital embellishments. So the process is the same. You go to upload, you go through the process of uploading, and then you can add them to your canvas as well. Of course, with the uh, Cricut, you have to add them one at a time. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in this frame, go to complex, apply and continue, print then cut image. It can get a bit tedious. Uh, that's one of the downfalls of doing, doing them one at a time, um, but it's also tedious in the silhouette. It's a little bit different process, but you still have to do them one at a time. Uh, so either way, <laughs> it's worth it to create your own cut sheets if like you don't want to print all of the stickers or you want to print the digital embellishments like these. Um, it's totally worth the effort, but it is a little bit of effort. So I've uploaded three of these um, embellishments from the kit. And you can actually select multiple embellishments here and add them all at once. But I accidentally only selected one the first time, so I have to go back. There we go. Um, 
And then I was playing around and experimenting in here because in the silhouette you can nest things together so that they you can maximize the space. It doesn't look like you can do that with the Cricut because I go in here and I nest the frame and the board together and then um, I'm going to resize everything because it's all very large. When you import into Cricut, it looks like it increases the size by about 200%. You can see up here that it says it needs to be reduced and this frame is about four inches that's the way i designed it so i'm gonna reduce the size to four inches but then i realized i reduced the size of the whole thing to four inches so then it was too small so i'm gonna increase the size back to four inches all right there we go so i have these nested together and then when i go to make it it actually separates everything when uh, it goes to the print sheet so you cannot nest things together in Cricut. Anyway, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. All right, thank you.